Hello and welcome. In this video we will take a look at the newest Super Sprint update V1 which includes this supercharged V8 engine which has an intricate mechanism which opens the butterfly valve at full throttle. The mechanism works by generating pressure in the jet pump using the pressurized water to supply it into her rear, which then has an internal geometry which supplies the water up to the roll cage frame, which connects with the engine using the silicone pipe. And this is what pushes the mechanism against the spring and opens the butterfly valve. In this video I will show you how to build this engine step by step. As usually, I suggest that you start by printing the super sprint drawing, which also includes one separate sheet about the engine. Apart from the printed parts, for the engine assembly we will also need two more water cooling tubes, which are the same as the previous ones you used for the super sprint, and one 3x62 stainless steel rod. We also need one very soft spring. It needs to be soft enough so that the water pressure can push against it and open the butterfly valve on the supercharger. I am taking one from an old pen. Let's start the assembly by press fitting the slider shaft into the printed slider. Here I am using the brass tube as a spacer to achieve the correct position of the slider on the shaft. This is the correct position so that the brass tube completely covers the shaft. I am using epoxy to glue the brass tube into place on the engine block. The end of the brass tube should be aligned with the end of the slot in the engine. You can also use the same batch of epoxy to glue the second brass tube into the frame as shown. Let's continue by assembling the supercharger intake with the butterfly valve. Pay attention to the correct orientation of the lever, from this view it should be on the right. Use two M2 by 8 to secure everything. Make sure that the butterfly valve can move completely freely, without any force. Then you can use two M2x8 to mount the supercharger intake onto the engine. The next step is to mount the printed belt onto the engine using two M3x20. To assemble the slider mechanism, slide the shaft with the slider into the brass tube, test fit the spring and mark where you need to cut it. You should cut it just enough so that the spring takes all the space between the slider and the slider end which we will mount on in a moment. Take the slider end and insert it into position. Use one M2x8 to secure it in place. Then you will probably need to align and rotate the slider end a bit more to find a position which allows free movement of the shaft. The engine assembly gets finished by connecting the supercharger link to the butterfly valve and using an M2x8 to connect it to the slider. This is how the final movement should look like. From now it's just a matter of connecting all parts to the new frame. The engine gets connected using four M3x10s. Pilots get mounted to the frame using two M3x8s with a flat head. The roll cage gets mounted using four M3x8s with a flat head. And finally, everything gets tightened together by using three M3x20. 
The last step is to use a short silicone pipe to connect the brass tubes on the frame and the engine. I also recommend using zip ties to make sure that the pipe doesn't blow off. When installing the deck onto the boat, notice how the hole for the water supply looks like. There is a little conical shape on both pieces. And to make sure that you get a good connection between these two pieces, you need to align them correctly. You will hear a little click. Then you can tighten both knobs and go and make your boat fly.